Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video is going to be an update to my level 59 to 60 leveling guide, because a few things have changed since that video came out, and I kind of want to make it even more streamlined than it already was. Quickly though, before we get into it, if you are new to the channel New Black Desert, or you've been watching the videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps grow my channel, you'd stay up to date when new content comes out, and I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it, and let's start off with the prerequisites before you even think about starting this video. First things first, you are going to need the Chenga Tome. Chenga Tome is essential for leveling via questing. It provides you an additional 30% EXP for completing quests that you will see in these video series here. This tome can be obtained from about an hour and a half of work here in Black Desert, so I have a full-on video guide about how to get this tome as well right here, so this is linked in the description below, so if you don't have a Chenga Tome yet, follow this guide to pick it up. The next things you're going to need before you start with this are going to be a butcher knife as well as a fried fish. You'll want to pick both of these up in Calfion or wherever you're coming from. So that is a butcher knife and fried fish. Butcher knife, fried fish. And finally, since this video is just going to be showing you the locations of the quest and not how to do every single quest, if you ever do get stuck, I have a full-on live stream of me running through the exact method you'll be seeing here. It starts at an hour and eight minutes in. It's linked in the description below, so just follow it if you get stuck. With that clerical stuff out of the way, let's show you the first location we're going to head to in this guide, and that is going to be Brelin Farm. So Brelin Farm is on the northern region, or the northwestern region here, just above Calfion. So there's Calfion, northwestern region is Brelin Farm. This is not available on console, this location. You're going to skip ahead to the timestamp that's popping up on your screen right now, and pick up the guide from there, then move on into the next video, 60 to 61. Someday when Brelin Farm is released on console, you'll be able to follow this guide exactly as it is, but unfortunately not there yet, so can't do that. But for everybody else, start in Brelin Farm, this location right here, Brelin Farm. So the first series of quests that you're going to obtain are going to be picked up from this NPC right here, Daughter of Maudlin the Wanderer, so go ahead and take that quest. The second quest chain is obtained not too far from her, you can actually see it off in the distance over there, and if you can't see any of these quests, make sure that you have all quests enabled here. So press the O key on the keyboard and select the All tab to see all quests available to you. But anyway, the second quest is not too far in the distance, you see her right here, her name is Moore. From Moore, if we look in this general direction over here through the post and head on this direction, you will see the fourth quest in the series. Right towards the end of the little vineyard area over here, if you come around the corner, you will see the next quest line right here. And just to save yourself some trouble here, accept that quest. And the answer for these quests are three, two, and one to complete that quest line. So as you can see, I am starting at 0.1% EXP. This is about as close as you can get to being level 59 without dying before starting it. So if you want to keep track and make sure you're getting all the same amount of EXP that I'm getting throughout this guide, make sure to keep an eye on this number in the top left corner of the screen where my mouse is circling. And the fourth quest line that's available in this location is 180 degrees up the stairs and all the way over here to a lady standing in the field. You should see this lady sitting right here next to some chickens. So the exact location on the map where this person is is on top of the hill over to the left. A lot of people had difficulties finding this NPC in my previous guide. So this is the NPC that gives the next quest line. So those are the locations of the four quest lines you need to complete in Brelin Farm. Do note that there is a difficult section in one of the quest lines that you will not be able to complete, and I'll be back in like two seconds to tell you what that quest is. So the quest you do not want to do is Back to Reality 2. This quest requires you to kill mobs at Star's End, which for like 99.9% .9 of the people who are going to end up watching this video is impossible. So do not do the quest that tells you to kill mobs at Star's End right here. Don't do it. Back to Reality 2. Watch. You click this button. Done. So for completing the quest that we just showed you, you're going to be at 26% EXP, which is pretty cool. But there is one more quest line you can do here in Brown Farm at nighttime only. It has to be nighttime in game to do this quest line. So I'd recommend starting this guide at nighttime in game. Nighttime is between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. If you talk to your Black Spirit, click on the Quest tab. You're going to see the quest, Suspicious Farm. Go ahead and accept that quest. And then just go ahead and follow the quest to completion by following the waypoints that it sets for you on the map. After you complete the first part of the quest and head out to this random viewing point, you're going to need to accept a second portion of the quest. That is the Church of Elian. So same thing, quest, Church of Elian, accept that quest. And completion of this quest line is going to drop you off at just about 30% EXP through level 59. This is going to complete Brelin Farm. You are completely done with this area for now anyway. The next location we need to head to is the Outpost Supply Port, which is to the left of Brown Farm, right on down here. So this location has two quest lines you're going to want to complete. The first one is accepted from the Node Manager, so talk to her, click the quest option, and then take I don't like blah blah blah, the second quest, don't take the first quest. The second quest line you're going to take is right here, this guy right here, talk to him. And just to help you out a little bit, you'll talk to this guy the second time. And the answer to this is 922, so type enter, make sure you have general chat open, and you're going to type in 922. That'll complete the quest. So now play through her quest line, and you are going to need a butcher knife for this quest, so make sure to have that equipped. 
and completion of that quest line is going to drop you off at just shy of 38% EXP through your next level here. So where we're going to head to next on the map is going to be the Calpheon Northwestern Outpost. I will meet you at the front gate of this location right here. So starting at this front gate, you see those two quests right there that we just drove by. Coming in a little bit further into the area, you will see another quest line sitting right here on this tower. So talk to that guy to play that quest line through. Heading on and down into this main little campsite area, there is another quest line to do right here. These two quests are going to cycle in and around through each other, so make sure you've played both of them to completion if you end up being a little bit short of uh, where I am at the end of this little clip here. And those are the four main quest lines you're going to do in this region, so knock those out and I will be back in a second. So completion of the quest that we just outlined a second ago is going to drop you off at 61%, just a hair above 61%. You do need to do the quest that sends you all the way back to Calpheon. I know you're probably not going to want to ride all the way back there and all the way back, but you do have to do it. But anyway, after you've completed all the quests in this area, we're going to be heading on over to Star's End. But we're not going to do any grinding in Star's End. We're going to head to the Pier of Star's End, which is way down here. So go ahead and drop a waypoint on your map at that pier and make your way out to this location. So down here at the docks, after you get all the way down the staircase and all the way over to here, you will see a quest sitting way over this far end on this final dock. So go ahead and accept this quest. We're going to do the first two quests in this quest line. So the first one should instant complete, and then the second one involves going to two locations. So first location is to swim out over that direction and press a button, and the second one is to climb up this little cliff face right here. Anyway, I'll see you back here in a second. So after you complete that quest, you are done here. Do not take the third quest from this guy. It is a kill quest, and you will die. Next location we're heading to on the map is not marked. You're going to have to have a little bit of map awareness here, but it's at this location where the road begins to bend here as you're looping your way around from Star's End down into Camasilvia. So this is the next location that we are heading to on the map. So exact location on the map is a little bit further beyond that bend, but this is the geographic scenery that you are looking for here, and you will find this NPC right here. Just go ahead and talk to her, and then talk to the second NPC. Do not take her second quest. It is a kill quest. You don't want to be doing kill quests. So completion of this little star's end journey is going to be 65% of your EXP bar filled up now, and the next location we're going to head on to is the HR Guard Post. So if you've never been to the HR Guard Post, it's this location right here. So I will meet you at the HR Guard Post. All right, so we have two quest lines to do here at this location. First one is near the bottom of the guard post. There's an NPC sitting on a log over here, so go ahead and talk to that one. This quest is going to direct you towards our second quest giver, who will give you the quest Fattis is Present. You don't actually need to do this quest, though. It's a completely RNG grinding quest, and I'd recommend avoiding it. We don't need it with this guide. However, after you turn that in, if you turn, like, left here, you will see another quest line right here, and this is one that you are going to want to play through. So I'll meet you at the end of it. And completion of those quest lines are going to drop you off at 69%. <laughs> in keeping with the slightly suggestive theme, we're going to head on down to Weenie Cabin for the next grinding location. So that is the top portion of Polly's Forest. So Polly's Forest icon on the map, Weenie Cabin is the top side of that location. So I will meet you over at the Weenie Cabin. So when you arrive here, head on into the little house here and talk to the spirit Weenie. I already did it myself to pick up the first quest line here. Play through this quest line until it takes you down to the Looney Cabin. You'll know you're there because you'll be at the other thing that looks exactly the same. It is at the bottom of Polly's Forest. I'll meet you at that point. All right, so we are at the Looney Cabin, and when you get here, you have the first quest, which completes over at this little sack over here. Make sure to grab the second portion of that, and then when you also arrive here, there will be a quest line available from the Spirit Looney inside of the cabin, so make sure to pick this one up. This quest line is going to send you back over to Grana, which is the next location, so make sure to finish the first quest line, which was this Who is the Real Suspect quest line. Make sure to do this one before you do the Grocer of Grana, the Mushroom Spirit's Agony quest line that we just picked up from Looney right there. Anyway, I will meet you after we've played through that quest line and then arrived at the Grocer of Grana for this quest line. So we're now at the Grocer and Grana after completing the Weenie and Looney Cabin quest lines. So we're at 75.5% EXP. So play through the Grocer of Grana quest line. This is ultimately going to lead to the Innkeeper Lunasai, which you will not be able to do until you play through the Camasilvia quest line. We do not need this quest line any further in order to reach level 61 via questing. But if you do end up short, it is an option to come back and play through the Camasilvia quest line and finish that quest. The next quest line we're going to pick up is you see me following out of that location is from this guy right here, this villager, which will send you into the library, which is right over here. Play through the entirety of this library quest line. I'll show you when we're at the end. Also should point out from the first NPC here, you need to take the quest Proof of Courage, not the repeatable quest. Make sure to do the quest line Proof of Courage, not the repeatable quest. When you get to this NPC right here, if you open the first chapter, take that quest line, then go into your inventory and click on the book that's inside of it. Then talk back to the NPC and click the chat option to hand in the item. Then continue along with the quest line, tremendously high price. So completion of that quest line is going to drop you off at 88.5%, so we are pretty darn close. Next location we are heading to is the Giffen Riza Temple over here. And on the map you are looking for this sort of bridge across the water right here. So that is the location we need to head to. I will meet you down there. 
So this is the location you are going to be looking at. You'll see these big arches. You'll know you're here. Up into the right on top of this little ledge here is another NPC. You can complete the first several quests right here. So take the first quest. And this is going to send you in to go and look at some stuff in this area. Now this is another high AP area. So you will have to be quick when moving through here. Be careful. Be cognizant of the enemies around you. Please avoid dying and don't complain in the comment section if you do. After you completed that, he then has a second quest, which you should be able to do. It is a quiz quest, but once you've done it once, you never have to do the quiz again. And I don't remember the answers to the quiz, so good luck. I'm sorry. His third quest is a kill quest, so we're going to skip that one because most people won't be able to kill the mobs that are in the area. So with that out of the way, the next location we are going to head on down to is going to be Viverza, located in the Mansion Forest. So Viverza, located in the Mansion Forest. So this NPC can be a bit hard to find. A lot of people had complaints that it was hard to find him. Look for this rock area above the Mansion Forest. You will need to walk around this until you find a ramp to get up here. This is the NPC you're looking for. His quest is another quest where you're going to go run and talk to some stuff. Be aware of your surroundings once again. These mobs hit hard and they could hurt you. So you can see even I got chunked pretty good right there. But go ahead and talk to the NPC to complete it. And then do not take the second two quests because those are kill quests and we're not going to bother with those. Next location we need to head to is going to be Camasilvia Vicinity. So Camasilvia Vicinity over and to the right of the location we were just at. So take the quest from the node manager located at this area. This is another one very typical to the quest we've been doing where you need to go and run and talk to some stuff and then run away before you get killed. And just so you know what you're looking for, it is this wagon right here. This thing that says broken wagon is the purple one. I got to get out of here before I die. And the second quest in this person's chain is going to be to kill some of those things that we just did right now. So if they are too difficult for you, try to pull them a few at a time to do this quest line. Now, after you've done that one, continue to follow this guy's quest line until it lets you reach the Lemoria guard post, which is just below us here. So when you arrive at the Lemoria guard post, the quest should drop you off right here. And that's going to put you to 97.7% EXP. If we loop right around over here, there is another quest line to pick up. And that quest will take you to the blacksmith in Lemoria guard post, which will finally take you to the stable keeper of the Lemoria guard post. And completion of this quest line will ding you to level 60. So congratulations on hitting level 60. I do hope this video was helpful for you here. The next video in the series is going to be 60 to 61, obviously, and I will show you how to level through questing up to level 61. We're going to pick up right where we left off right here, so just go ahead and click the next video button and keep going. And once again, if you ever are stuck at any point in this and need to see exactly how to do some quests, I do have the live stream VOD on my channel. It's linked in the description below. Now, this video is going to help you to progress here in Black Desert, guys. Do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you're not subscribed already, please consider it. Helps to grow my channel. You stay up to date when new content comes out, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, next YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Dice.